It's DSP's Game of the Year Awards 2013, the top 10 best games of the year. Honorable Mention, Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. Now, I already mentioned this game in my countdown of best games of 2013 that you didn't play, because I get the feeling this game did not get a lot of exposure, and a lot of people have probably never heard of it. So it's worth mentioning again, because out of all these indie games that I played in 2013, I liked this one overall best. Brothers A Tale of Two Sons is a unique puzzle platforming adventure where you control two brothers who are on a quest to try to save their, el or their, their sick father by getting a certain kind of medicine. As they partake in this adventure, it's a completely unique control scheme. You use a different one of each of the two thumbsticks to control each brother. Now, it is simplistic, but some of the puzzles that you encounter during the course of the game can be complex, can be quite fun, quite challenging. You run into unique characters, different kinds of enemies. Sometimes you need to just avoid them. Sometimes you can actually fight them. But the cool thing about it is there's no dialogue in the game. The brothers don't speak English, they speak some kind of gibberish that kind of almost sounds like Simlish. And it's awesome because even though there's really no spoken dialogue, you understand everything that's going on, it's a great story, and it is a cool way to spend maybe a long afternoon, three and a half, four hours, uh, playing a really unique, fun, well-designed, well-paced game. And I'll be honest, at the end of the game, I ha even had some emotion, which it's hard for a game that's so short to actually have you feel that. Now, I'm going to call something out right now. Some people are probably saying, oh, well, I call bullshit because last year Phil said that Journey was overrated and Journey was the same kind of game. No, it wasn't. Journey was a game where you had to interpret what the game was about. It had no definitive story. And in my opinion, it was a cop out because they didn't actually write a real concrete story. So in this game, it's the opposite. You know exactly what's going on. You feel for the characters and it's well done. This is like taking Journey and taking it a step further. And that's why I really like Brother, A Tale of Two Sons. Check it out if you haven't. It's a really good game, and it's very inexpensive as well. Now back to the countdown with number six, Dead Rising 3. So traditionally with new console launches, the launch titles usually aren't very good. A lot of the times they're just a tech demo of what this new console can handle and or it's a port of a game that you could play on another existing console elsewhere. In the case of Dead Rising 3, it's the complete opposite. It's a game that number one showcases the hardware of the Xbox One by allowing you to run through the city streets with hundreds upon hundreds of zombies at once, dramatically increasing the amount of zombies that are in the game from Dead Rising 2, but also is a huge progression from the gameplay of the previous game. Everything here in this game is streamlined. A lot of the annoyances of the previous games, including the inability to save everywhere, have now been fixed. It's just basically the epitome of what the Dead Rising series was going for. And for me, I was able to jump right into this game and enjoy it. At never at one point did I feel like the game is incredibly difficult, but never at the same time did I say, wow, it's far too easy. Now, for those of you who don't like the changes to Dead Rising 3, they actually gave you the option to go ahead and make it more difficult like the previous games were. So, drop in, drop out, co-op adjustable difficulties depending on what style of gameplay you want if you want the more traditional more difficult classic dead rising stuff or you want the newer more improved more streamlined gameplay really impressive graphics a great story an incredible amount of side content and gameplay this game is the system seller for the xbox one right now it is the best game for the console and i was so impressed that a launch title did such a good job now i'm sure in a year or two there'll be games that knock our socks off for the xbox one but if you're looking to get one right now this is the must buy it's in my opinion the best game in the whole dead rising series so far they really did a great job this was not something that was rushed or dialed in just to get it out for the console's launch dead rising 3 an outstanding game and my pick for number six best game of the year up next on the countdown, a franchise that's disappointed as of late comes back with a bang. Check it out. 